Greetings, it's one of these videos where it's a camera, no person because I don't really do that whole YouTuber thing with shot face, ugh, ugh fuck that shit, I am pricks, basically it was, uh, looking at my collection the other day and I was thinking I just own far too many games I'm never going to play, I was becoming a shelf collector, and I think the system, the system that made, broke it for me was the Atari. Because I soon realised that whereas I'm enjoying the chase of buying these games on eBay, which isn't really a chase, it's a case of, oh look, I'm going to bid slightly higher and win. Originally, I wasn't really collecting for it, and then all of a sudden, oh look, somebody's doing a job out of Atari games, and I bought them all and sold a lot of them on. And kept the ones I didn't have, and then I just started buying more games that I didn't have. I thought, hang on, I'll get to 100. Nope, I'll get to 125. Nope, I'll get to 150. And then recently it was like, because I've now got 185, I thought, I'll get to 200. Then I thought, hang on a minute, then what? I'm constantly raising the bar of the amount of cut off, of the cut off point, the amount of one to own. This is raw edit. This is not going to be an edited video. Unless I fuck up at the end. I just thought, why? I'm buying games and I've played I've played them briefly and I thought they were shite. Tax Avoid is an uncommon game and it's shit. Uh, what are the others? I mean, I've got doubles there for some bloody reason. Uh, I can't think of the others. Well, the other games that I bought recently that I thought was shite. I don't know. Uh, I'm tired. Nearly midnight. So I thought I'll just do a purge. That's why you can see holes in the collection. There's also uh, the bottom there behind it. Done! Parrot also attacks it when I do that. When I say done. Uh, and the bit of some bird shit on it. Oh, she's in bed. Uh, is like a line of PS2 games I'm never gonna play. So I just I'll I'll see if I feel like playing them. I mean, straight off the bat, I bought that one recently. That always happens. But that one recently, fuck it, I'm never gonna play it. I probably will, but I know from the I know from the off that that's just that's probably not gonna be to my liking. Looks too serious. So yeah, that's that's like the start of the purge. It's something I advise a lot of people to do if they find themselves just buying without reason. Because that's what I've been doing, and I don't fucking like that. I'm the Wii. Uh, all of these games are cheap. I am going to get around to playing these, actually. Uh, so I've not really done the purge of these just yet. The ones that I know are already bad, I probably will get rid of. Because I don't want to just like, oh, look, I have, I've got an app on my phone, right? Then it lists all the games I've got. It's like, whenever somebody asks, oh, what you got for that? And I just show them the list. It's like, hang on a minute, what the fuck's this all about? They're looking at a list. Max Games. <laughs> Try and get a complete collection for that, you bastards. Uh, I mean, there's games here on the Get Rid of Pile that I know sell way more than what I paid for it. I've been meaning to get rid of that for years. Because it's not. The controls ruin it. And I know a lot of these games aren't bad, but I thought, will he ever play Mr. Adventures of Tron Bon again? No, get rid of it. Uh, I've got two copies of Dino Crisis for some bloody reason. I mean, I've sat on PS4, I've played it for a bit and thought, modern platform games seem too floaty for my liking. It's hard to explain floaty in, this con in controls. Uh, this PSP thingy, Dreamcast, Dreamcast is a weird one, because I don't really own that many games, so probably won't get rid of a lot. Uh, 3DO, uh, I'll pro I will be selling the almost complete game come collection with one seal game, for the simple reason, I don't want to play on it ever. <laughs> ever. You know, there's more PlayStation games I've never bloody played yet. Yeah. 
I think I'm doing this just for my own sake because I just really don't want to be surrounded by games. It looks it looks impressive when it's well when it was organised. It looked impressive, but that's about it. All the games look good, but owning stuff is just owning stuff I'm never gonna use is just pointless. So yeah, there's a bit of a depressing end, wasn't it? I might get rid of a anime do VHS as well. This is this is the annoying part. Because it also kind of collects VHS. Sorry about the mess on the floor and really there you go. That's a perfect example of horror stacks. Yeah, sorry. A lot of these haven't been released on DVD in this country. I know Rojin Z has, I might pick it up. To see it cheap. Because it's a good it's fucking stupid. And then you get stuff like friggin' the Cyberpunk collection there. Uh, I think AD Police got a DVD release in the UK. I think. I've got it. <laughs> it did. The rest didn't. <laughs> which is annoying. Uh, professional has? Go, go Glow 13. Uh, there's one. Probably the reason is most of these didn't, didn't get any viewers because they were shite. Uh, yeah, I'll probably sell a lot of that as well. I've got like other system, I've got systems I'll never play. I might get rid of my Sega Pico because why the fuck not? I've got, I was given these just like a box of Sonic 1s and 2s. Why? I tell you, huh? But yeah, I'm purging my collection. Yippee. So it's kind of a reverse of one of those videos of we bought this shot. We bought this Ooh, on the thumbnail. There's your face. There's my face, you bastard. Just to put on the video. And then a reaction video to somebody selling the collection. And eee, fucking YouTube. Which is irony. Because this is going on YouTube. And an ironic comment. Tatty bye. <laughs>